on the whole cop thing. Yeah, cops and, um, like, Blue Lives Matter, that's a pendulum too. And so I'm a little (laughs) disoriented, not in a bad way really, but I'm a little disoriented because my guys are trying to reorient me right now. And, and, um, they're trying to like put me in, um, a position where, um, where I put my focus is, is, um, um, beneficial to my experience here and my timeline and stuff like that. So, so the other thing to make timelines more complicated, and I, you probably knew some of this, but we kind of forget this because we keep thinking about changing the world and it not, it's not really that. You shift into another world. That's what is actually happening. Um, it's called reality transurfing and, um, there's a seven hour um audio book if you if you're interested in that um I, I can send it your way. You are shifting to a new timeline, and this evil world is to be honored because all souls that need to evolve they come to here and then they learn to shift out of here in the same way. so what we're really doing is actually shifting to a new a new experience. Um, but, um, you know, we're really like cartoons in that we're not realizing each frame taking place. We, and this is where we buy into the linear, the fact that it's linear, which is not a fact. (laughs) And in fact, when I was on mushrooms the other day, I did see that. I, 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 I did I don't know. It was more like an understanding as a combination of seeing and understanding. And I said, hold up. This is not even it. It's they're all every millisecond that you're experiencing and moving and the new thought that you have here and the new thought that you have there and 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 the sight that you see one moment from the sight that you see another second. They're all orientations. I, that's the best way that I can explain, explain it, which is exactly why they're orienting me in a fresh way. I don't have a, a solid answer right now. Um, and it's not in my job as well to have a solid answer of what the best way that people can move forward to create their best time timeline. Um, um, because it's also going to kind of be different for all of them anyway. But the the thing is, is actually... To just be a little bit more selfish, the, the, a summary of, of a smidgen of advice is to be more selfish than really a lot of people are teaching them to be. Um, keep a nice, um, uh, healthy vibration. And, um, and because, see, because the voting doesn't really count. The voting is sort of extra. The voting is, is is this expression of the vibration already. So if you're going to vote out of obligation, that's not really going to do much. Um, it's kind of like the way people say sex is an expression of love, as corny as that sounds. Um, uh, so is every other action. But you can also have sex that isn't an expression of love, right? So... so um, so that's why a lot of people feel unfulfilled after sex. There's the lack of love. And there was just that moment of orgasm, of climax. And um, it's not lasting. Uh, and so um, that's why the vibration is everything. Sex is not going to fix any of this, right? So the vibration is everything. So, um, so, so, um, so, you can last on love itself without the sex, but why not have the sex if you can actually get the love, if you can actually find that in yourself? And um, you can actually get along just fine not voting, 
but especially if you're in a high vibration, why not go the extra mile and do the voting? Because that will just make it that much more uh, solid and concise and everything. So, um, so I've tried to give a depiction of the, you know, vote, you know, um, casting vibrational votes first and then doing the voting. Um, and so between that, between, um, um, just being a little bit more selfish and making your life better. And I kind of have talked about this before that if every person does that, if everybody made their own life better, um, uh, they um, everyone would be focused on that, and, and it would be a whole new world. It would be this world where, see, they would be already doing what they're trying to get to, which is just to live a life of where you get to uh, pursue your dreams and happiness. You have to just do that, and you know. Um, um, there, there will be elements of humanity that are going to fight their way to it. That's not going to be us, but it, we're going to be glad that they're doing it. Um, in other words, even the lower consciousnesses that are fighting for good, but they're still lower consciousnesses, even they play a role in this that serves the greater good, which everybody's a part of, but we are a part, we are a level up. That's why we won't have to do the fighting, but I would feel like a liar if I would say that that's not going to happen because I I do believe that that's going to happen. And so as per that Abraham Hicks video, I'm not going to sit here and lie to myself and pretend that I got out of the plane with the parachute if I didn't take the parachute. I didn't take the parachute or humanity didn't take the parachute and they're going to have to go through that and that's it. But this is where creating your own reality gets really important because you don't have to face any of that. People don't have to face any of that. (laughs) Let's go back full circle to the police. Um, So nobody deserves anything bad to them. We could use that lingo. Um, Karma would be maybe a slightly better lingo. But here's the ultimate lingo, I would say, is that they are simply the result of their vibration. You could call that they deserve this because this and that and that and the other thing. Uh, You can call it they got bad karma. Technically, karma isn't bad. It's just cause and effect. And if your cause was bad, then the effect is probably going to be bad. And there's still no bad either. It's just negative. You know, It's, it's your perception as well of what is bad. So if, if you perceive it as just fine and good, then it's really not a problem. Some people could co- come at it from that angle. That policeman is free now. He's free from this realm. So um, I come out at the war thing, you know, that humanity is going through as a positive thing. I don't see it. It's them that sees as a, see it as a negative thing. Now, could it have been done too without the war aspect? Yeah, it could have, but that's not what happened. We jumped out without the parachute. That has to be accepted or, you know, it's just going to be a nasty ride on the way down. Um, So, so um, anyway, uh, yeah, he is the result as we all are the result of our vibration. And that's all that happened to the police. And as far as police being in the 5D, I agree with you. They, um, what the way I see it is that they will fade out because you said, like they'll 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 either won't be any or they will be very little. Um, in the full fledged version of 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 five D, um, yeah, they won't be there at all. Actually, just look at the the old times. The when Atlantis was flourishing, did they have cops? No, they didn't have cops. So why are we going to have them when we not only get up to that stage of harmony, but even further? So, of course, we're not going to have them because there's not going to be that type of authority need for authority. So, and um, and so many people will not go. People have to relax. Many people will not be going, will not be shifting to this earth. A lot of people have to relax. Of, we have to have that fine tuning, that fine balance. 
of keeping each other informed and saying, hey, don't take the vax or this is the latest news on the vax while also honoring all the people who are dying from it. You have to understand that what's happening on many levels is that they're not dying. That's a visual for us as we shift into a new earth. Those frequencies cannot stay. They are... um potentially also um, uh, uh, either living in a lower frequency or they have also died in the lower frequency which you have moved out of and they will reincarnate again into that lower frequency um, until the lesson is learned for them to, um, to rise above that lower frequency. And this gets very convoluted because then there are the backfill people that don't even have souls and that doesn't even matter. That It doesn't matter what happens to them. They're there to fill an NPC role very specifically, their background. So um, this can get very convoluted how all of this goes. But you have to honor these people. It, 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 you see that sophistication, that that you know narrow middle path that's it's difficult to comprehend. Our brains are not really designed for that, actually. It's designed to think that everything is linear for one thing. But we have to simultaneously keep each other informed and then also and then also uh, understand that as these seemingly horrible things happen, they're actually happening to the people. They're the results of their vibration. And they have, to, they have to go. They have to go. And in fact, when all those people go, here's what's interesting to add to this story, is that there will be more of us left over and less opposition. And trust me, we, the people, will have our day. And there will be those who play their roles, including that of, I don't know if you want to call it militia or whatever you want to call it, and all sorts of roles in between. So I hope that made sense. I just channeled.